I'm also getting ready to do a living singles segment on my show and some will be video blogs, some will be live taping, some will be sessions of cheaters therapy talking about um, people who had to endure unfaithful relationships, spouses, etc. How to get over that is both for the cheater and the victim. Tips, clues, getting understanding, getting advice, getting help, how to get over certain things, how to overcome. People are quick to say get over it, but they don't know at the end of the day, you got to approach things first off with understanding, clarity, and maturity. You can't just do things at the spur of the moment just because it sounds good to do it or it feels good. It, it puts you in that thrill of getting the person back or whatever it is that you have on your mind because sometimes people end things and their mind is really all over the place. So I think I've said a portion, I've given you a confession that am I hurt by all that I went through? No, not really. This last year, year and a half, mostly this year, and particularly it's been a real time of healing moving on not just moving on because you're looking towards being with someone else but moving on because I'm complete now I'm whole that's what being single does single makes you whole you get to correct your issues correct your mistakes correct your demons your things that are haunting you and things that are bothering you or things that you you know, brushed over, covered up, and never really addressed or dealt with. That's what single does for you. It helps you. So in some of my video sessions on living single, I have one of my newfound YouTube friends. <sighs> Y'all, I'm going to post her name down at the bottom of this video because she's going to have to forgive me for this one. But I, Tia Iran, that's her name. So... In case with pronunciation you are misunderstanding her name, I'm going to post her link at the bottom of this vid video. We will be doing some back-to-back -back video sessions on living single, the art of living single, how to be single, how to make yourself whole. Cheaters therapy, again, that's something else that I'm doing on my own and with some other friends. And Tia, Iran, if you want to get in with those video sessions or whatever we can collab on that too but for the most part we're going to be dealing with sex traps we're going to be dealing with sex habits we're going to be dealing with addictions we're going to be dealing with uh, closet secrets we're going to be dealing with so many different things that first destroy the individual the secrets the embarrassment the low self-esteem the compromise the compromise of how people will settle for a standard that is lower than them just to be satisfied out of loneliness I'm lonely I don't want to be lonely I just want to be with somebody I just want somebody to love me there's nothing wrong with that desire but sometimes we need to take time to work on us work on ourselves, work on our goals what are your plans for your life? Don't get wrapped up in people so much that you stop living. I know you're probably sitting there and saying, all of that is good advice. I know that I heard that before, but I'm telling you, we're going to get in depth into some topics. And even while I'm addressing some of these topics, I'm going to make it my business not just to blog, not just to do the videos, not just to have the live sessions where we're talking about it, but I'm going to make it my business to also compile and compress together my thoughts, even some of the topics that we come across, to do the book because this is needed. Living single, will it be titled that? I don't know because it's not a finished product yet, but it is in progress. Cheetah's Therapy, will that be the title of the book? I'm not sure, but it's definitely a catchy theme. Um, and I'm just excited about what's to come and what we're going to be doing. So. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching London Bathroom Confessions. There's plenty more of these to come. So continue to stay tuned. And for those of you that don't like that I'm in my tub, 
hey, this is life, moving on. But anyway, um, thank you for watching London. Remember to check me out on the web, www.michaellondon.webs.com. You can also check me out on WordPress, www.michaellondon, the Michael London Show, excuse me, the Michael London Show. Dot wordpress com. I'm on Twitter, and you can hit me up on Twitter, Michael London TV on Twitter.com. Then you can also hit me up on Facebook, Facebook, um, the Michael London Show. Please add my fan page, add my fan page on there. I have a personal profile, and you know that you are only limited to a certain number of friends. So the more of you that add me, the quicker. I have two pages. That's ten thousand of you. And after those two pages are filled, that's it. But I have two fan pages, two personal pages. So let's see what happens. I'm on MySpace. This is the last, last, last one I'm giving you. I'm on MySpace and it's Michael London Creative Dimensions of Life. So just look me up, type that in and see what happens. Peace. Remember, if the need is great, then the subject is worthy. So these are my confessions. Thank you for watching London. Peace. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yo,